So anyway, on NXT from St. Louis, here came Trick Williams. And he got a big ovation. These were the people. There were, what, a couple thousand I think they were set up for. These are the people that are with NXT and understand what's going on and know all the, all the talent. And they whoop that trick and, and blah, blah, blah. And Trick Williams can talk. He can talk. He's glib. He was rolling. He was moving and grooving. A lot of charisma. Yes, and he looks good physically in a whole nine yards. And then... He was interrupted by some guy up in the stands. And I kept, I knew it was one of the guys that was in a tag team that broke up. And last week they had a match and they've got prison tattoos and bad haircuts. I couldn't remember what his name was. And they never said it. They referred to it later on in the program. I think it's Wes Lee, right? Wes Lee, one of the worst names I think anyone has. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing is he was standing there in baggy pants and a fucking droopy sweatshirt and unnamed and unidentified, and they start having the conversation. But it Trick has some oomph, but the other guy was a guy in the stands wearing baggy pants. And then suddenly Jey Uso's music played, and here he yeeted. And the people went nuts, and they started yeeting, and Jay and Trick yeeted at each other, and the fans chanted yeet, and the guy in the stands was just forgotten and never heard from again. It was just like they were going back and forth, like, I'm going to fight you, I'm going to fight you, or whatever the fuck, and then suddenly here comes yeet, and that guy just sat back down in his seat because he wasn't <laughs> with the yeet. So he had... I he hated couldn't, this. He had to be beat. I was, I, I, I'm, this was the moment where I was just like, I really, really hate the Yeet shit. This specific <laughs> segment right here. This was unbearable. Oh, you don't have the appetite for the Yeet. Trick Williams has a good look and he seems to have some size. You know, you got to wonder how much longer he's going to be in NXT. He's been there a while. I mean, we talked about him a couple of years ago with Carmelo Hayes, right? Well, he, that's when Carmelo Hayes was the big deal and it was just, and my friend Trick. Who do you think is and more upside now? Trick. I think he might do the trick. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that high draft pick for Carmelo Hayes, but I, uh, yeah. Obviously, you got to fire one of these GMs. There was a high draft pick a couple years in a row for Odyssey Jones. Look how that worked out. Boy, I'll tell you. It seems like that. It, it was it. Who was it back then? It wasn't Pierce. I don't want to get Pierce fired. Aldous is new. Somebody didn't do the background checks. His name on the Indies will be Venture Williams. <laughs> Venture Capital. <laughs> but anyway, we're not out of this segment yet because the guy in the stands is forgotten and not heard from again. But suddenly as Jay and Trick were yeeting, then here came Kalani and Bianca and Jade. And they just did an entrance and just they all just posed in the ring. Well, this was funny too because they come out there and they get a big reaction or, you know, a big entrance. They each individually get their entrance. And then Jey Uso and Trick Williams are just in the background dancing with them. Yes. Yeah. 